Hey fam, thank you so much for coming on back to I Love Me Me Me. <laughs> okay, so for all of you book lovers out here, this one is for you. It is called Breaking the Man Code, The Key to Unlocking His Heart by Shonda Patterson. Now, some of you guys might know Shonda Patterson. She is another YouTuber. I've been following her for years, long before I even decided to get behind the camera. So I've been um, on YouTube for about three years now. So anyway... I've been following her before I got behind the camera, at least two years before. So um, I've been knowing about her. This is her picture on the back. Some of you guys might know her as Bronze Goddess 01 or BG, and or she actually just changed her name to Life Coach Sean. Again, I've been following her for a while if I know about her her name change okay so <laughs> um, I just really love her topics I've talked about her before anyway I did a review on her other book of course I will um, link that video up here at some point and then of course down in the description box below if you want to hear that review as well it is called the dating game that was the previous book that I um, did a book review on and so today I'm going to tell you guys about this one so I decided to go ahead and support her because um, I love her content and um, I like really supporting my people, but also if I really like you, I will definitely support you. So this book actually has, let's see, 200 and what, 224 pages. Um, very quick read. Uh, can you see that? Pages aren't 100% full with words or whatever. So very quick read. I read it in like, I think, two days. Um, she has several different chapters in here. So when not to date him. How to Know If You're Being Played, Men and Commitment Phobia, He Who Findeth a Wife, Mixed Signals, um, How to Go from Wife Material to Wife, I actually really like that one, uh, Men Can't Handle Strong Women, Fact or Fiction, Paying for Dates, as in Who Pays for Them, Men to Avoid at All Cost, relationship ready and if you follow if you guys follow her channel then you know that she does like segments on there called strawberry letters so she has um, a few of those strawberry letters in here actually more than a few but anyway so she has definitely many strawberry letters she is married to her husband um she talks about it a lot uh as far as like some of her information that uh she learned and gleaned from dating her husband and she talks about a lot of the things, again, that you should avoid or watch out for, but also the things that you need to be doing yourself. But what I really want to concentrate on here, um, because some of the things I've actually talked about before, so I don't want to be super redundant, but also for her book review, I really want to focus on this one area. Y'all know I, I like to read my stuff to you guys. So towards the end of the book, there is a survey that was conducted by Match.com. And the survey is called, Everything You Think You Know About Singles is Wrong. We separate fact from fiction with the first comprehensive study of singles in America, which was released February 4th in 2011. And quite a few myths about men were dispelled. Uh, renowned biological anthropologist Dr. Helen Fisher and social historian Stephanie Kuntz conducted a study questioning over 5,000 men and women, and the results are astounding. So here is some of them. I'm not going to read everything, but I do want to read this part to you. Single guys who have long gotten a bum rap for being commitment phobes and romantic blasé are evidently misunderstood. The survey makes it clear, but don't buy into these myths. Men fall in love faster are more eager to have children for the first time, which went from 24% um, versus 15%. And when it comes to love, they feel just as intensely as women do. The most surprising fact about men may be this. More men than women would marry a partner they weren't sexually attracted to. Men are just as inclined to want to get married as women. In fact, 33% of men and 33% of women said they want to get married. And among singles without children under 18, men, um, men more than women, men 24% and women 15% say that they actually want children. So the dynamics seem to be changing, especially for those who are under 18. More men want to have children than the younger girls out here. These findings, the... These findings totally debunked 
just about every myth we have been told about men. As I mentioned in the very beginning of the book, this is now back to her. She's speaking the author. Um, it is not a matter of if a man wants to be in a committed relationship. It is a matter of when. He must be relationship ready for a relationship to work to to work for him. So I just think that that was very um, poignant and actually spot on. Men definitely want to get married. Here's the thing. I'm just going to piggyback off of what she's saying in this book, specifically to the study that was conducted. Men, they definitely know if they want to have children. They definitely know if they want to get married or be in a long-term committed relationship. They, they definitely know the stage that they are currently in. With that being said, if he is not wifing you up, as she said, or really trying to lock you down in the first step, as in the girlfriend role, it is because there is something about you, as in the woman, that he is pursuing where he feels you might not be the right one. And he actually is holding out for something better. I know that, that is a tough pill to swallow, ladies. But once a man actually clicks with you, he wants to lock it down. Like I told you guys before, me and my now husband, when we first started dating, he locked me down very early on. Literally at the six week mark, he was like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, like what, what are we doing here? Like, we not just date to date. And um, so they, they know when they meet you. They might not know if you are it when they first meet you, right? Because you guys have to talk and converse and, and, and just, you know, have some fun or just see what everything is about with each other when you guys are in each other's company after the initial meeting. And in, in the the um the flutters and the butterflies are starting to go away, like when you meet them and you know, you guys are kind of getting into a comfortable space. Men who are relationship ready, i.e., ready to be in a long-term relationship or a marriage, are always looking, they're always watching you, ladies. Now, he might not be watching you on a conscious level. But he's always watching because he's looking for those qualities that he wants in his wife, that he wants in his long term girlfriend. So basically, he, he, he definitely knows. He's just trying to see if you are it for him. If you are pulling on his heart hard enough for him to want to take the plunge to say, okay, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk being locked down. I'm going to risk, you know, throwing away the potential women that are out there, all of my Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday women for this one woman. Most of the time, men see multiple women. Is that everybody? Of course course not. Like, don't get it twisted. However, most men see multiple women because that is what society has told them and their friends and their family. It's all around them. This is what you should be doing in your younger ages. You should be pursuing and sleeping with as many women as you can as possible. Now, when women do that, it is frowned upon and we are called all sorts of names, but I won't even get into that. What I am trying to say is if the man is relationship ready, he no longer wants to focus solely on the sex as the evidence show in here that men who are ready to be in a relationship, sex is not the first thing that they go after. They will actually wait to be sexually active with you and not you because uh, um, you're the one. He could be waiting because he wants to wait for the one and he's trying to see if if this has the potential to go further, he doesn't want to mess it up by introducing sex too early on because men handle this a lot better. And what I'm speaking about is um, as far as sex, men can be super detached from sex. They could just do it. Men, uh, um, women, we actually get emotionally attached because we are leaving a piece of us with the guy. Every guy that you have slept with, you have left a piece of yourself with that guy. And also you 
start to ignore some of the red flags that could potentially be there because you have now given the most precious portion of your body away and you think that it is now the guy's obligation to seriously date you, to seriously pursue you to, you know, X, Y, and Z after that. It doesn't happen that way. We really do have to slow these relationships down, go out several times, and people talk about the 90-day rule and people talk about abstinence. Of course, because I am a Christian, I, of course, I want you to be abstinent, but I'm also realistic not to say that it's right because you should be following what God says, especially if you're following, you know, being a Christian. However, sometimes we put ourselves in these situations and we're starting to drink wine and we're all alone. And all of a sudden, one thing leads to another. But if you never put yourself in that situation, you know, go out during the daytime. Like there is definitely things that you could do where you are feeling like the guy is courting you and not yeah i just dated myself by saying courting but where he is courting you i.e dating you slowing the relationship down he definitely likes the hugging and kissing but he doesn't want to come up to your place afterwards i'm going off on a tangent that has nothing to do with the book but i wanted to piggyback off of the research because when a guy knows that you are the one he absolutely wants to slow things down he does not want to introduce sex he wants to keep the rose colored glasses off his eyeballs like these. He want to keep them off his eyeballs so he can truly and truly analyze and see who you are as a person. When you guys go out in public, how you're treating people, not just like the waiting staff or, you know, when you guys go to a restaurant, just people in general. How positive are you? Are you super pessimistic when he brings up some some of his goals or something like that? How, what is your reaction? Like they're paying attention to all of these things. And again, it might not be on a, a conscious level. He's subconsciously sizing you up. <laughs> He's subconsciously sizing you up because as much as possible, men want to be in a um, environment where they are feeling the love and it is stress free as possible. That doesn't mean you guys are not going to go through issues and stuff. But as much as possible, the majority of the time, if he can come home and seriously feel like I am the king of my castle, I can sit here, I can just chill out, I can be in my own world for a minute if I need to be, you know, I can go and do what I want to do within reason, obviously, right? But like, I'm not feeling like I'm trapped here in this relationship or potential relationship because at this point you guys are not in a relationship because he's still sizing you up and i have to be quite frank ladies you need to be doing the exact same thing as much as possible hold off on holding sex with the guy because you do start to see things completely different the red flags that you know you wouldn't be dealing with if you didn't give your body away you can avoid a lot of things if you just hold off on having sex, if you just seriously size the guy up as well and just pay attention to who they truly are when you guys are out. How is he actually treating you? He's giving you a whole bunch of slack. He's giving you a whole bunch of slack and that's not your thing. You feel like y'all arguing all the time. That's not going to get better unless he is a person who is trying to work on himself. You're going to go through something for a minute. And why do that? We really have to tighten these things up and pay attention. But anyway, I'm going to get back to this book and say, if you want to hear more details about this, I love all of her strawberry letters. Like I said in here, um, they're definitely real life people's stories that um, she put in here. And again, all of the topics, like I said before, I really liked the how to go from wife material to wife. I also liked um, men to avoid at all costs. Really, I actually liked the whole book, but really what really super, super stood out to me in that book is the survey that I already talked about. So definitely go ahead and support Shonda Patterson. I know that her books are Amazon and Kindle. Um, so yeah, go and pick up the book if you have not read The Dating Game, especially if you really, really, really need some tips on the on, on how to date, who to be, et cetera, et cetera. She has a book, so go ahead and pick up her first book. This is her second book. She actually has three books out there. Um, so 
yeah, go ahead and support. Definitely give me thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about this book review. And of course, you know, I pretty much go off on a tangent usually anyway. So absolutely give me thumbs up. Share it on all of the social media and with your friends that you know who need to see this matches. And of course, if this is your very first time here, I would love it if you thought about subscribing because here at I Love Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we together collectively can start to decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again in another video. Two finger salute.